works slightly different when something drops in value by a certain percent. Sam buys a laptop for £600. Each year, the value of the laptop depreciates by 10%. It goes down by 10% every year. What's the value of the laptop after one year? This time, bear in mind that £600 is 100% of the amount that Sam paid for the laptop. She's losing 10% of that value. This time, we have to take that 10% away from the 100%, which leaves 90%. When you're keying this into the calculator, it's £600 multiplied by... Now this time, you want your answer to get smaller, so you're not going to include the 100% in there. So you'll be multiplying by 0 point, then the percent... Now, because you're multiplying it, you're not multiplying this by 10%, you're multiplying it by the 90% that's left. Your answer will still be smaller than £600. 90% as a decimal is 0 0.9. And that means at the end of the year, the laptop will be worth £540. And here's one more like that. Sam buys a television for £900. Each year, the value of the television depreciates by 25%. What's the value of the television after one year? So £900 is 100% of the amount of money the television cost. It's losing 25% of its value. 100% take away 25%. That's 75%. When we're multiplying this, we have 900 multiplied by... Remember, because this is going down in value, we don't include that 1, that 100%. So it's multiplied by 0 point, then it's the 75% that's left after we've taken the 25% away from the 100%. 900 times by 0 0.75 and that means that at the end of the first year the television is worth £675.